Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live in the four o'clock hour. Really warm conditions here in the Southern Valley, but there's a cool front pushing through and we're not seeing a lot in the way of cloud cover. You see a few fair weather cumulus clouds here from our Luther family Ford location. Temperatures today we started out near 60 in the south and west, and we had some mid 50s out in places like Wadena and Park Rapids with peak temperatures that really soared this afternoon. Some of us will still eke out another degree or two out of our day, kissing that 90 degree mark where you see the dark red colors. Now lower 80s across lakes country and the north saw some 70s for the afternoon today. Here's your current condition out at Hector right now we have 87 degrees wind is from the west only eight miles per hour dew points are in the 60s so it has just a little bit of a muggy feel to it out there but nothing too bad 90 right now in Bismarck Mobridge 97 degrees and it's 20 degrees cooler than that in Halock right now at 77 degrees so there is the cool pool of air a little bit of a north breeze there here in the southern valley we have west wind and you can see temperatures trying to work their way into the James River Valley close to 90. You just might make it in a couple of locations in the uh, Stutzman County area. Here's that cool front and you can even see there's not a lot of clouds associated with it, but the coolest of the air is now punching its way into our northern counties. This will slowly progress through the region and bring some changes to your weather tomorrow. And here's how the main thing we're going to notice is not the clouds associated with this. It's not showers, rain or thunderstorms. It's literally just a little bit of a hitch in the giddy up thermally. Temperatures are going to set back just a little bit tonight. Get out and enjoy by the 10 o'clock hour. Notice we're in those comfortable 70 south, but we'll be in the 50s and 60s up north. A cool and quiet evening there. A few clouds associated with that cool front as it sags its way through the region overnight. But really, most of us will notice quiet conditions and temperatures that will be in the mid 50s to around 60 to start your hump day on Wednesday. Now behind the cold front, that wind will have generally more of a northern northerly uh, component to it. That's going to reinforce the cool throughout the day. So check this out. Midday temperatures 70s for everyone, maybe an 80 in South Dakota. And then as we head into your afternoon, we're going to see temperatures similar to today up north, low to mid 70s there, and we will drop the temperatures to around 80 degrees in the Southern Valley more seasonable for this time of the year, to be honest with you. And then an increase in some clouds along that boundary, that warmer air down to the south and west of us, it gets suppressed down there. We'll see if just a few clouds, but our chance of rain pretty low in your forecast period here as we glide through midweek 57 tomorrow morning in Fargo. Temperatures ramp up and we will generally top out right at near 80 and we'll spend several hours there. Very comfortable with a little bit of a northerly flow to it. 72 tomorrow afternoon near forecast at five o'clock. 81 in Wapaton, 80 Fergus Falls and the hot spot will be down in northeast South Dakota where we'll have some low 80s there. Beautiful field over the oats there in Bedette. Zach, thanks for sharing this a colorful sky photo. And the crops are going to get a good chance to dry out for those grains. That's not a bad deal for this time of year as we're starting to get out of that regular forecast of showers and heavy rain 80 on a Thursday as we keep the cool and comfortable temperatures around warming it up just a pinch on Friday. Notice that we will have a chance of some spotty showers. We could see some in the morning as well. As we go through the weekend, though, for the most part, it looks dry Sunday. We could see some changes make their way through with spotty showers and storms. And Courtney, this does not look organized, widespread or particularly heavy the way things look right now. So we'll keep you posted about that. Should be some good outdoor time here in the valley to get outside and have some fun in the sun. Yeah, warming up into the weekend way better than last weekend. Right, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Hutch. Yep.